Hey guys, come uh, stay. I hope you guys are all doing great. Welcome again to another vlog. And today, very special guest yung uh, guest natin sa ngayong vlog. Uh, she's very well known here in Calgary. At the same time, you know, outside the business niya, she's very well respected and philanthropist, right? Every time there's projects within the Filipino community and Jan Chaparati to support, um, I really admire this person, especially during the pandemic, yung kasagsaga ng pandemic. You know, um, she was always out there uh, reaching out sa mga, sa mga kababayan not in here, and not only here in Calgary, but even outside sa Calgary. You know, that's why na ano, sobrang sobrang marami nagmamahal dito sa guest natin. Uh, she's been in the business for a long time now. Tsaka malaki na rin yung team nila. Uh, and I'm very happy and I'm very blessed na binigyan tayo ng chance na to sit down with her. You know, maybe learn some tips from her and maybe give us advice kung talaga ba yung Canada is para sa atin. So yun guys, yung guest natin ngayon is si Tita Alma. Her company is called Alma Armada uh, Immigration. Uh, they are based here in Calgary, so yun, uh, maya maya, I'm going to her office and samahan nyo ako kung ano yung mapapag-usapan namin so, so if you wanna learn more kung paano yung pagpunta dito sa Canada kung ano yung mga naging struggles, kung ano yung pwedeng ma-share ni Tita Alma sa atin, so stay tuned until the end of this video so yun lang, thank you and see you maya maya bye bye So we're just here right now sa office ni Talma and dito sa lobby nila so we're just waiting for her kasi alam ko may may meeting pa siya take a look at how beautiful yung, uh, yung waiting area nila so they're located here in downtown the ampersand uh, building they're in the 16th floor so you know feel free to contact them pag may in, in anything the immigration needs so yeah check that out guys tapos nito sa baba yung ano There's a Chinatown right there, you know, he can So yeah. So Tita, quick question before we start the vlog. Ilan kay dito sa office? So we have six here and we have one in Edmonton. We have two in in Manila. So, wow, yeah. ang galing. It's, it's great. Ano masasabi mo sa mga team niyo, Tita? Ang masasabi ko is lang, I have the best I have the most amazing people that work for me. Well, not work for me, but we work we together. Work. So we work like a family. So I, I think I owe everything to, first of all, of course, to God. Secondly, to my clients. Thirdly, most important too, is actually my staff. I have the best people, pro very professional, and they're experts in their own way. So they know what exactly they are doing. And I think that's why we're very, we're very blessed to have a zillion clients. But the company will run by him. They Wait can so, run the yeah. company without yeah. me. So that's how how lucky I am to have these these ladies, these wonderful ladies. So thank you, Udo yeah. <laughs> and thank you for taking care of the business. Yeah. So you guys, we're about to start a vlog now. Like, we're practice a little bit. But we're 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 going to set up. So stay tuned. Panorin niyo vlog namin. So. And Tita, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey guys, how are So I'm here with Tita Alma and si Tita Tayan. Uh, thank you for office. Thank you for Thank you for welcoming me to the office. I was here in the vlog. I was here in vlog. I was here in the vlog. I was here in the vlog. I was I'm very happy that we were here in the vlog. Tita Tayan, their senior consultant. Yeah. 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 So Tita, hindi kita masyado na introduce. Feel free po na ikaw na mag-introduce sa sarili niya. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Rodora Dayan Armada and I'm the senior consultant of Alma Armada and Company. Don't forget and a partner. <laughs> and yes, a partner. Yeah. Ikaw na matita. Oh, okay. I am Alma Armada, CEO of Alma Armada and Company Limited, of course. We 
are an immigration consulting firm based in Calgary, Alberta. We also have an office in Manila. And our main, I guess, business activity is purely immigration and recruitment for actually Canadian employers. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, tama yung mo, tita, na you've been in the long, uh, you've been in the business for so long. In fact, uh, sinabi ko kanina, tita, na I really admire yung company niyo. Kasi marami sila natutulungan guys. So parati yung nakikita sa post nyo na almost every day merong successful stories. Mm -hmm. And ano bang feeling ng tita pag may harap, pag may natulungan kayo? Uh, Isa-isa ko yung sa akin. No? This business, our work is very rewarding, very challenging, very hard because it's paper extensive. However, Brent, yung, yung business namin is such a rewarding job because nakakatulong ka ng ng tao to actually change their life so we create better lives for people at least uh, that's how we feel so very rewarding siya so kasi matulungan mo ang isang tao maging immigrant dito to work here and then become an immigrant so nadala mo lahat ng family niya right and yes. so it's it's a different feeling na hindi mapapantayan ng kahit anong no amount of money actually can yung mapapantayan yeah. yung yung so saya na nagawa mo dun sa tao yun <laughs> well, uh, very rewarding, especially kung family unification, yung, mm -hmm. yung iba hopeless na, and then suddenly they tell you, oh, you gave me hope. Kasi maraming areas, yung, maraming kang maibibigay sa kanila. E kung talagang walang magawa, then you let them down so easy. And then, you know, ano lang. Tapos yung, yung greatest ano ko is yung, meron ko isang fine 10 years na walang Okay. So we did that case and then when he was approved, I was the first one to cry. Because oh. 10 years eh. Tapos yes. yun ang iyak na siyempre happy ka. That's very rewarding. Very ano. Kasi natulungan mo yun now. Pwede na siya mag-reunite with his family. Yung hindi niya nakita for the last 10 years. So kung sarap ng... And again, I'm not feeling. Let me guys na dito sa sa Calgary, yung company nila, they're very popular. They're very well, uh, very uh, respected. At the same time, they're known kahit na sa labas ng Calgary, kahit na sa labas ng Canada. Kaya, you know, if you're planning to come here, uh, make sure na you reach out sa kanila and then see kung ano naman yung pwede na ma-advising. May another question, Tita. Thank you for yeah. answering. You're pang, pang, pang beauty queen yung mga answers. <laughs> Napapatingin na lang. Yeah. So, siyempre, so, Tita, marami ngayon yung mga viewers natin that they're thinking to come here sa Canada, di ba? Ano po ba yung first step na kailangan? For example, let's say, people from Dubai, people from the Philippines, ano ba yung mga advice nyo? Kaya rin pag nagpa-plano na sa pumunta dito, ano ba yung first step na yung gawin nila? Gawin mo na, Tita. You have to be permanent resident or immigrant ready. Okay, yung mga documents mo. Kasi yung Canada requires everybody to take IELTS. Okay. Right? So, hindi lang naman yung Filipino ang nag-apply. There are people from Ireland, Greece, which are, some people are English-speaking countries. And they do always was, but ko kailan ko muna ng IELTS or something. I already speak English. Hindi yun inaccept ng Canada. That's the rule kasi. So you have to be immigrant ready. Pati yung na education mo, kailangan iba ipasas mo dito. Kasi kung wala kang yan, wala. Hindi ka talaga makano. Yeah. Yung mga proof of funds na yun later na yan. Yung mga ganyan. Experience, age, siyempre kailangan ng mature age ka, 18 and above. Tapos dapat at least one year experience. But there are other ways to come to Canada aside from immigration. There are students, but you can mga visitor kung gusto mo lang magbisita ng Canada to check it out. Yeah. Meron ding work visa, kung meron kang mga job offer, there are so many ways so, to come. Yeah. Dapat immigrant ready ka talaga. Talagang ready ka. Ready ka. Oh. For those who are not here, I'm sure yung viewers natin, uh, marami outside ng Canada to be able to apply here. First of all, yeah, you do need to be a skilled worker and you can't be too old. Yeah. Siyempre, kasi the less it's a point system, mas may edad ka, mas nababawasan na yung points mo, right? So, kailangan yeah. between 18 to 35 is the peak. So, English is very, very important. So, yung IELTS nyo and aim for the highest score para ma-invite kayo. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag nag-draw ang federal skilled worker, I mean, they haven't drawn yet, but you know, ano. Ang problema lang kasi, guys, um, 
many people think that if a, a consultant or someone will tell them that their PR is under process, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Because un until you get an invitation from the government, your PR is not under process. Nasa profile lang kayo. So be very careful with a lot of um, people there that are doing your paperwork or, or telling you that they're um, under process. Under process and PR news. So it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. This, is, this is good, guys. <laughs> We always recommend that talking to the experts because if we read or we read information on the website, hindi nila And that's why that's why na I encourage you to really contact the mga as a industry talaga migration consultant like sa dita ano sa dita tayo. Ah, dita siya sa tatanawin ko kasi short blog na don. Sa mga nanonood ngayon, how can we encourage them uh, to come to Canada? Or why should they come to Canada? Ano ba ang mga experience nyo? Bakit nung ipunta kayo dito sa Canada? Ikaw mo na dita. Better future. Future for the kids. Yeah. Uh, for my, for me, nung bata pa kasi ako nung nag-migrate kayo, hindi ko na yun. Ang ganyan. Pero yung, yung sa iba, let's say, older na. Usually, if they even have a good job, like, like say in the Philippines or in Saudi or whatever, usually the reason nila is to be with the kids. A uh, future pala para sa kids kasi better education, syempre. If you have better education, better jobs or later on. At saka yung way of life, right? Syempre, you have to work, you work hard, pero depending yung sa goal mo eh, kung ano talaga yung gusto mo, di ba? And then, Canada is a very good place to live. Number one ba tayo? Yeah. Calgary or something in the yeah. world. Number ano tayo. So, compare mo naman sa iba. Tapos, yung chances mo to become permanent resident or citizen is bigger. Compared dun sa iba na, let's say, Saudi Arabia. How can you be permanent resident? Yes. You'll, you'll work chance. there for 40 years and still. Balik ka. Sa balik ka. Oh, yun. Isa na yun sa mga ano. So yes. yun, yeah, yes. right? Yes. So kids yes. talaga yes. ang akar nilang Reason. priority family yeah. is their reasons to be here. And I think that, you know, uh, most immigrants here in Canada will will agree with me that, you know, I mean, the reason why yeah. they're here is such a beautiful country. Uh, it's truly a land of opportunity yeah. and the um, future more. So that's why our business is very rewarding because we create better future for many. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I want to support that statement, especially yeah. Especially yung pandemic, di ba? Yes. Uh, pag nasa Philippines ka, okay, sure, marami kang pera. Yes. Pero pag naapektuhan ka, for example, COVID, simot yung ano, mga savings mo. Yes. So, ano ba naman yung counting investment to come here, yes. pero you enjoy all the benefits, yes. di ba? Yeah, especially the healthcare system is what healthcare. Brett is talking about. Yeah. Because, I mean, dito, we're covered, like, we don't worry when yeah. we don't worry financially yeah. um, mm -hmm. when we get sick because yeah. we know that we'll be taken care of, yeah. right? So, you would, yeah, tama ka, Brett. So, yeah. you yun, ano don. But, I may, I, I'd like to say that really, it's not as easy to immigrate to Canada because I'm not gonna mislead people to say, oh, pumunta po kayo, madali mag-immigrate. Hindi po talaga. You really need to qualify. Yeah. So, yun po ang, yun ang key is, kailangan nyo po mag-qualify, ma-meet yung requirements to immigrate to Canada. Mm -hmm. So, yun, yun lang, Brent. But, I, I should add, like, if you have children, um, kung meron naman po kayong pera, no, paarali nyo po dito yung anak nyo. <laughs> so, there you go, right? Kasi, Because we are so, yeah, we have the best educational system in the world. I say in the world. Because talaga po, ang, ang education system ng Canada is one of the best and it's recognized worldwide. So, kahit saan kayo mag-aaral lang kayo dito, recognized sa U.S. recognized the Europe, but hindi ba hinapa ng trabaho, right? So if you have children, you can afford to send them to school. Don't send them to the U.S. Send them to Canada. <laughs> Don't send them to U.K. Send them to Canada, po. Because they, they can. There are several pathways to international students to become permanent resident. And the mo the advantage is, Brent, as you know, mas mura ang tuition fee compared sa U.S., U.K., po dito sa Canada. Oh, oh. Yeah. Dami kasing mayayaman sa atin eh. Kaya. So Dita, uh, alam ko mo na tapos na uh, One last question. When we say Alma Armada Company, right? ano yung specialty natin? Immigration. 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 Yes. Lahat ng kilang immigration. Yes. Okay. So we do family uh, sponsorship, we do student, we do work visas, we do all kinds of permits, visitors, refugees. We also do agency. 
And and the advantage with us is because we have over 500 client employers, so we do recruitment for the employers. The employers. Okay, so hindi po kami recruitment, hindi po kami placement agency. You cannot, you cannot call me and tell me, can you find a job for me? Yeah. No, I don't do that. I don't have time. Yeah, we, we don't, yeah. let's say. I will pay you to find a job for me. Hindi po kami yon, hindi po kami placement agency, but we are a recruitment company for employers. So what we do, just briefly, what we do with recruitment is an employer will come to us. Say for example, I need 20 workers. So basically, if they need 20, uh, one employer needs 20 workers, I have to supply them for with 60 resumes, and then I let them decide who to hire. So I pick from the, <laughs> yeah. uh, they have requirements, so may database po kami, and then I, I, I go through the resumes in our database, send them to the employers. So sa employers, meron kami over 500 client employers, so yun ang advantage po. So when they, t especially before pandemic, ngayon may wala pong opening ngayon na marami, yeah. but pag may normalize na, ganun yung ginagawa ko brand. So that's why we brought over 2,000 workers into Canada since we've been here, kasi dun, yun yung binigyan namin ng chance. I hope guys na marami ka natutunan. <laughs> Ang sarap kayo pagbentuhan dito. I'm pretty sure marami ba sa gusto nyo i-share sa inyo. Pero uh, paano kayo nila makontact dito? Ano ba proseso? Yeah, we're on Facebook. Okay. okay. Sometimes, marami kasi kaming email na na-receive. So, hindi ka agad na pag email mo ngayon, sasagutin ka na next that's day. Right. Kasi yeah. it takes uh, so, it's, um, so, all you need to do is actually, uh, if the two are not inquiries, palage or tatlo, um, if you need a job, if you're looking for a job, pasensya na po. We get over a hundred emails every day look from people looking for a job. Hindi po namin sila masasagot lahat. Follow us on our Facebook or Instagram po, because we post openings there, and you just follow. Um, the instructions. Um, if you send your resume to me today, chances are I don't get to see it. Po, kasi wala namang openings, but we do keep the resume. So, hindi po kami talaga yeah. not possible to be able to respond to all the people looking for a job. But just follow us on our Facebook, Alma Armada and Company uh, Limited. Nasa Facebook po kami. Nandun po lahat ng job openings namin. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for immigration po, if you want inquiring about immigration, we also get a ton of emails. So, in Hindi po enough na magtanong gusto ko po mag-immigrate paano po ba? We cannot possibly yes. answer all that. So but that maybe mean. what you should do is send your resume, send your IELTS exam result. Kasi yung po dalawang yun ang kailangan namin oh. and your resume, pati po yung asawa nyo, send it to pr at armadacompany.ca po. Yun ang ano. And for those students who want, who want to study in Canada, the email address is students at Armada Company, that's CA. So, Tita, dito sa, sa vlog ko, may tarata ko sinasabi, may ending ako. Sabi ko sinasabi na, Always dream big with Dodo B. Uh, Ay, Tita, ano, ano, ano tagline mo? Ah, ano ba yung tagline? Wala kaming tagline. I have nothing to think about. Uh, well, ako, ang, ang tagline ko lang niya, well, we're the best. We are the best. We're simply the best. Alright guys, so now, what we do. So I didn't have to do it. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And then, uh, thank you for watching. Watch out for more. Magandang hapon po or araw po sa inyo lahat. Bye. 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 Bye.